Well, hi folks, it's E. Chip and Robber. And <clears throat> it's a little bit different <clears throat> view than I suppose you're used to seeing us in. We're back in the central U.S. And uh, <clears throat> we've left behind contentment for the season. And uh, so we are back here and going to continue to bring you good content. I really like fire, 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 fire. <laughs> He's a pyromaniac. <laughs> oh, but he's right. We're back here in location one. <laughs> I don't even know. Location one. I guess that's what we call it. That is. This is location one. <laughs> <clears throat> and we're here for the winter. And we have things that we're going to do. All right, one of the projects that we put on the back burner a long time ago is to finish some bedroom furniture that e -Chip started making a long, long time ago. Um, he's got a dresser and um, two side tables. And I was admiring them just the other day saying, you did such a really nice job on those. I like them because they have simple lines and they're not all ornate because Ornate stuff gets dusty more easily. It's than too hard to clean. <laughs> and so they're really nice. Egypt does really, really good work. You're too kind. No, I'm not. It's true. Egypt is very skilled at a lot of things. So anyway, <clears throat> we've wrapped up all the work we can do for the summer at Contentment. Uh, and uh, a couple of things we need to, you know, to tie up before we go back out there. I think next season we'll be out there for good. But, uh, so, you know, we came back. Our, as many of you know who've been watching our channel, the plans we had for this summer were to uh, get the shouse built. That wasn't an original plan. It was just sort of one of the things we came up with later on as we were thinking about how we're going to live out there during the summer. Uh, so that was sort of extra. Uh, compared to what our original plan was, which was just to get a well in, put in a septic, and dig a pad for the house. Um, but it was those four things. Uh, build the house, dig a well, put in a septic system, and begin cutting the pad for the house. Well, we got two out of four done. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's okay. We had some delays in waiting on professionals and stuff like that to do what's required. So it slowed us down a little bit. But that's okay, because as we've said before, Contentment is a multi-year project. And uh, so, you know, we're not in a great hurry. We want to take our time, think about what we're doing, and make sure we're doing what we want. We kind of like this approach. It's, it, I think it works well for us. And we have the time. So, or at least I think we do. Oh, I'm starting to feel old. <laughs> <laughs> Each hip has been a little sickly this week. Yeah. I had a... Something that concerned me, you know, I, <clears throat> uh, out of all the things I imagined to be happening when I was, you know, when I thought about aging, uh, this was not one that I ever anticipated, but uh, I came down uh, middle of last week with a severe case of vertigo, uh, worst case I've ever had in my life, and of course everybody gets it every once in a while, but this was really, really bad. It was so bad I couldn't stand up. All I could do was lay down and spin, and whenever I tried to move or sit up, I would vomit. It was just really violent uh, vertigo. And so, um, it was difficult, and it was a little scary, too. Uh, wound up going to the hospital, and, you know, it's, there's no tumor or anything. It's just in the, in the inner ear. Um, but uh, still, you know, it makes you think. And that's what I kept asking Robert this past week, you know, what if this had happened while we were at Contentment? How would we have handled this, you know? And it gets me thinking about, <clears throat> you know, how we would handle aging and sickness and things like that at Contentment. So we do have a video coming up that uh, I hope you'll enjoy. We we talked with George Cox of the Iridium 242 channel, a very cool channel on YouTube. I recommend it to you highly. But uh, we've discussed the collaboration with him regarding our medical preparations. Um, we've put together a medical kit that we, you know, that, that, that we could make as all-encompassing as possible. But we were hoping George could give us some pointers on that, maybe make some recommendations, things that we may have overlooked. 
and of course we'll take input from any of you on that but so that'll be coming up but anyway getting back to it uh, yeah still feeling pretty puny still am kind of unsteady and still have a little bit of vertigo but feeling much better but uh, yeah boy something like that it really makes you think you know how would I handle that if I'm out in a remote area and you know um, it's just uh, you know when I did missions work in my 20s uh, I had a, what I thought was a really good uh, medical kit, you know, for working in a remote area. Um, but being 24, I never really thought about <laughs> what would actually happen if I needed it. Um, now I think about it. So think about how we uh, would be able to care for ourselves or care for each other out there in such a remote area in case we needed to. But I'm feeling much better. We went for a walk earlier and feeling a lot better. I just kept trying to get him to uh, drink water. <laughs> There's no way I would have kept it down. <laughs> but Robert was an awesome nurse. She was, she was very patient with me, and and uh, while I was feeling down, hopefully I wasn't too terrible a patient. No, he was. He's a pretty good patient. He didn't get too grumpy at all. Anyway, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. And uh, so, uh, like I said, we're, we're back. We're going to show you some video about how we wrapped up out there at Contentment, the things that we finalized. Uh, we did manage, to, as you know, to get the well dug. We got the shouse built. Um, we did not install the well pump, even though we have it. We did not install the well pump or any of the solar... Uh, for it because uh, we just don't want to leave it out there you know and take the chance that it could be stolen or vandalized while we're not there uh, so we have it and in fact an upcoming video I've got is one where I actually put together the station uh, that I'm going to use to have all the components that operate the well and a Wi-Fi system for contentment so and be solar powered in DC so that'll be fun. What else we got, Robert? We got the furniture video coming up. Mm -hmm. And then if you look right behind us, what we got there, Robert? It's a chicken house. A little bitty chicken <clears throat> house. We're going to get two chickens. We get two chickens here for the winter and spring here at the duplex. Help keep the backyard and the garden cleaned up a little bit and uh, give us a little experience with chickens. I like chickens. Mm -hmm. That'll be fun. So, and then at the end of the spring, we'll just whack them and eat them. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> we got all kinds of stuff going. We, I mean, Dinah, we didn't do anything with Dinah this summer. She just sat out there. She's still at contentment. She's got a great view of the river. And uh, she's in mothballs. We drain, you know, her water or coolant and all that good stuff. And so she's, she's put up and in, in, in good shape for the winter. Uh, but there's uh, there's still quite a bit of work to be done on Dinah, and some of that can happen right here at the duplex, uh, you know, in preparation for spring. So.